gets to 50. Nice little kick, Wilson. Butterfingers originally, but he pulled it in. And Anthony Wilson will go back and line up for his first. And if he's successful, Norwood's first. We've gone 12 and a half in this quarter. Still looking for the first goal of the game. Yeah, it's been a uh, dour arm wrestle so far, but Anthony Wilson played his 100th game last week, kicked a couple of goals against the Bloods, lining up for the first major of the contest. So Wilson into the northern or Woodcock end here at the parade, and he's nailed it. Anthony Wilson on. Will have to go short to Wilson and does. And Wilson marks this 40 out, 45 degree angle. Kick one already today for Nord. This well within range. Yeah, it was good work again by Matthew Nunn, whose uh, leg speed really superior there. John was able to get out of the contest and actually chose to give a handball in the end. He lost his boot, his right boot, so he didn't want to kick with the sock on. And in the end, the, uh, the kick from Richards inside 50 found Wilson lining up for the second. So Anthony Wilson for Norwood's second, for his second in this first term. Little skip as he comes across 50. Nice kick nice. off the boot. Beautiful kick from Rabs Wilson. Comes in to another former Crow, Mitch Grigg. Off a step. The kick inside 50. Free kick going the way of Pinion. Just had better body position on his direct opponent in James Lonergan. And Pinion, former Crow's listed player himself as a top up. Lining up for his first goal. John about 40 out on a slight angle. Gets better with each game for the legs. Pinion, he's really marking his claim as their key go to forward. And a chance for him to get his first of the afternoon and shake off some of the early nerves. Recruited down from Mount Compass, kicked 129 goals last year in the Hills League. Opinion, 40 out, leans back, beautiful kick. Norwood get their third, put goalkeeper it on the line, and deflect it through for a minor score. From the kick out though, Norwood have it. Kick inside 50 from Shenton, Banton dropped it on the second take. Probably sums up the Norwood Red Legs day today, John. And summing it up even further, I think the ball's gone off the boot of Banton as he was falling to ground and out of bounds on the full. Some consultation from the umpires coming back to Banton. So the milestone boundary I never, umpire I never there. These rules. I never get how this works. I mean, that's just like an out of bounds to me. The mark was dropped out of play. Damien Robinson, the 150 gamer boundary umpire, says Banton's got it and Banton's kicked it. Something out of nothing. Finds Douglas. So here's a chance for Norwood. Left forward pocket. Douglas tucked around, 45 degree angle, about 35 out. Key kick in the context of this game. Yeah, absolutely, John. Uh, Norda pressing and pressing. They're just not getting the reward on the scoreboard, just managing the one goal so far in this third term. So an important goal, a shot on goal for Douglas as we're nearing three-quarter time. So Douglas comes in steadily. Kicks at the goals and has threaded it. Threaded the eye of the needle. Seven points, 25 and a half gone, third term. Haynes goes short and finds Broadbent, former power player. Veteran in defence, just steadying things down. Cool heads needed. And Broadbent, long kick towards half back where the pack has formed. Ball knocked it down. Greg trapped it nicely. Kicks from 50, Grigg, Pignon one-on-one. Pignon won't be needed as Grigg's kick has bounced through. Grigg gets his first. So Matt Back, in fact, Ellison. The two big fellas look alike, and big Cody Ellison against his former club just nudged his direct opponent underneath the ball. Judged the flight of it better, John, and took a nice, strong mark. He did well, Ellison. He's been threatening to break into this contest, and here's his moment. As you said, him and Pignon, the two key forwards for the legs. And, well, this is an important kick. If he's accurate, he puts Norwood up by five points. If he misses, scores are tied. Always means a little bit more when you're playing against your former club. Ellison kicks from 49. Leans back on it. It's a good-looking kick. It's snuck in. The red legs are back in front. Runs inside 50. He's got a teammate in a good spot. Squares it up. And Don Barry marks 30 out directly in front. Unselfish play from the Red Legs, John Anthony Wilson, the speedster, unselfishly passing it off. Excellent play from Wilson. Great vision spotting up Barry. Nice little give from Grigg in there too. Wilson gave it to Grigg. Grigg waited, so Wilson run on. Bang with the handball to Rabs Wilson, and his kick finds Barry, and he lines up for the first goal this final term for Norwood. A little quiet today, Don Barry. Just nine disposals. This is an important one for him. Leans back on it, and he kicks the goal. Norwood get the opening goal of the best day using the footy, but on this occasion found a teammate and Tom Pinion. John can line up to put the red legs back in front. Yeah, good, good kick from Ira, but great diving mark 
from Pinion. He's kicked a, uh, one today, Pinion, in the first term. Long enough for his second, but important in the context of the game to put his head Norwood back in front. 35 metres out, directly in front, Tom Pinion. Coming in for goal, kick three last week against West Adelaide, lining up for his second. It's a good looking kick, it drifts a little, but the Red Legs are back in front. Pinion gets his second. They've taken the lead back, but a beautiful hit out there from Borderstone, down to Grigg, gives it to none. Much like we started this uh, final term, inside 50. Discipline spoil from Brown, coming through Pinion, tapped it down to Wilson, just missed the opportunity. Hands and knees, Brown, he was dispossessed in the Wilson tackle, scrambling at ground level was Abbott. Coming in over the top, stacks on the mill, the south defence holds strongly. So just about to tick into the 18 minute mark. We've had three goals kicked by south, two by Norwood. So we'll have at least a 26, 27 minute quarter one would think as Balderstone from the ruck, jams it on the boot, the red legs back in front. Great finish from the big man Baldy, just too big and too strong. And Norwood go back in front.